backward chains. It's a really hard thing to visualize because I can't figure out the front or the back of the chain. <laughs> <laughs> that was really stupid. I'm sorry. Um, I apologize for the badness, the poorness of that joke, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so backward chaining is a skill. It, no, it's not. It's a tool. No, it's not. It's a procedure. There it is. So it's a procedure that you would use to teach someone to engage in a complex behavior. So you start out with breaking the complex behavior down using what's called a task analysis. All right. So let's say cooking cookies, which I love to say. All right. So cooking cookies. So you learn to cook cookies. Um, there's a lot of steps involved, right? You got to get out the flour. You got to get out the sugar. You got to get out to do this and that and this and that and all these other things. You got to set them on again. You got to mix them all together in the right proportions. Then you got to put them on. You stick it in the oven. And you cook them. Then you end up with cookies. And we call that behavior making cookies, right? However, there's all these little steps, right? So if you want to teach someone all those steps, I'm teaching my daughter how to cook right now. So what is useful is to have her do the last step first. Hi, honey. Open the oven and pull the cookies out. Congratulations, Kaylee. You did a great job. You cooked cookies. Lots of reinforcers. Next time you have her put the cookies in the oven and then pull them out. Next time before that, you have them take. You have her take the dollops of cookies, or you have her dig into the cookie dough and you actually put the dollops on the parchment paper. Oh yeah, I forgot the parchment paper. Anyway, so you put the dollops of cookie dough on the parchment paper and then you put it in the oven and then you take them out and then they get the reinforcer of the cookies. And the next time you do this, you have them mix the dough and then you. You get the idea and you do all those procedures and then in the very last step or the very last couple of steps would be them doing the whole thing while being overseen, right? So a backward chain or we're teaching the chain in a backward fashion. So it's a big chain of behaviors, but we're teaching it in reverse. You finish the behavior or you, you do the last step and earn the reinforcer. Next time you do the last two steps and the last three steps and the last four steps, last five steps, last six steps, last seven steps, last eight steps, last nine steps, last 10 steps.